This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by nhliberty.org. Oh, yeah, got it. Awesome. Thank you very much. Hello, this is Ron Paul with your weekly update for Monday, July 1st. If you like the surveillance state, you'll love E-Verify. From massive NSA spying to IRS targeting of the administration's political opponents to collection and sharing of our health care information as part of Obamacare, it seems every day we learn of another assault on our privacy. Sadly, this week, the Senate took another significant, if little known, toward creating an authoritarian surveillance state. Buried in the immigration bill is a national identification system called Mandatory E-Verify. The Senate did not spend much time discussing E-Verify and and what little discussion took place was mostly bipartisan praise for its effectiveness as a tool for preventing illegal immigrants from obtaining employment. It is a tragedy that mandatory E-Verify is not receiving more attention as it will impact nearly every American's privacy and liberty. The mandatory E-Verify system requires Americans to carry a tamper-proof Social Security card. Before they can legally begin a job, American citizens will have to show the card to their prospective employer, who will then have to verify their identity and eligibility to hold a job in the U.S. by running the information through the newly created federal E-Verify database. The database will contain photographs taken from passport files and state driver licenses. The law gives federal bureaucrats broad discretion in adding other biometric identifiers to the database. It also gives the bureaucracy broad authority to determine what features the tamper-proof card should contain. Regardless of one's views on immigration, the idea that we should have to ask permission from the federal government before taking a job ought to be offensive to all Americans. Under this system, many Americans will be denied the opportunity for work. The E-Verify database will falsely identify thousands as ineligible, forcing many to lose job opportunities while challenging government computer inaccuracies. E-Verify will also impose additional compliance costs on American businesses at a time when they are struggling with Obamacare implementation and other regulations. According to David Beer of the Competitive Enterprise Institute, there is nothing stopping the use of E-Verify for purposes unrelated to work verification and these expanded uses could be authorized by agency rulemaking or executive order. So it is not inconceivable that should this bill pass, the day may come when you are not able to board an airplane or exercise your Second Amendment rights without being run through the E-Verify database. It is not outside the realm of possibly that the personal health care information that will soon be collected by the IRS and shared with other federal agencies as part of Obamacare will also be linked to the E-Verify system. Those who dismiss these concerns as paranoid should consider that the same charges will be leveled at those who warn that the Patriot Act could lead to the government collecting our phone records and spying on our Internet usage. Just as the Patriot Act was only supposed to be used against terrorists, but it is now used to bypass constitutional protections in matter having nothing to do with terrorism or national security. The National ID Mandatory E-Verify database will not only be used to prevent illegal immigrants from gaining employment, instead it will eventually be used as another tool to monitor and control the American people. The recent revelations of the extent of national security agencies spying on Americans plus recent stories of IRS targeting Tea Party and similar groups for special scrutiny demonstrates the danger of trusting government with this type of power. Creation of a federal database with photos and possibly other biometric information about American citizens is a great leap forward for the surveillance state. All Americans who still care about limited government and individual liberty should strongly oppose E-Verify. This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance at nhliberty.org. Now, if you were to go over to the State House in New Hampshire and say nhliberty.org, well, lots and lots of nhliberty.org members would hear you because they're all over the place at the State House. You can't swing a fist without hitting one of them. I hope you'll join them at nhliberty.org. 
Or maybe I should say, I hope you'll join us because I am a member.